Hey, my name is Lance, and I'm going to show you how to make the ping pong ball mortar. It's one of the projects from my book, Launchers, Lobbers, and Rockets Engineer. This project is really easy to make, and it has a huge payoff. It's super fun to launch. Okay, let's get started. Begin by cutting a slit into one of the tubes. Insert that tube into another one. Using a box cutter, carefully cut off the bottom of a plastic bottle that has a screw-on lid. Fit the bottle over the tube, then cover the whole thing in long strips of duct tape. This holds it all together and makes it look way better. And if you want, add a little polish by wrapping colored duct tape around the ends. Cover two more tubes in tape just to match the barrel. Pinch one end flat and tape it. Tape the flat end of both tubes onto the barrel so it holds it up at about a 45 degree angle. This will give you the farthest flying trajectory. Using a drill bit that's about the same size as your barbecue lighter, drill a hole into the plastic bottle. Okay, we're ready to fire. Put the ball in the barrel and push it until it reaches about halfway down. It should stop on its own because of the way the cardboard tubes were attached in the first step. Open up the back and give it only a one second burst of hairspray. If you put in too much, it won't work because it will smother all the oxygen and you need that for combustion. Once the hairspray is in, act quickly because it expires after about 10 to 20 seconds. Insert the barbecue lighter and pull the trigger. After each shot, Clear out the barrel to blow out all of the combusted gases and to introduce fresh oxygen. If the barrel is too big and there's a lot of space around the ping pong ball, it won't work very well. You can narrow the inner diameter of the barrel by cutting another tube down the middle and fitting it inside. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.